Democracy won't spread across the galaxy on its own. I've been fighting for Super Earth for a while now, and I can definitely tell what kind of person my teammates are by what stratagems they choose on the heat of battle. One man army, bug crusher, bot shredder, oil spiller, you are Beowulf. Your only plan is to drop to a planet's surface, guns ablazing with the heaviest armor you have access to, and enough artillery to flatten an entire fleet of bile titans. You're known for swooping in and saving teammates with a heroic barrage of bullets, and when you're in the zone, other Helldivers take a step back and say, I'm glad they're on our side. You like taking things into your own hands, and I like leaving the enemies to your hands while I hide behind you. In real life, you probably love action movies and playing first-person shooters. Anything that has that cool guys with big guns energy. Lone Wolf. You go it alone, and you like it that way. It's not quite clear if you're antisocial or if you're just built different, but you refuse the squad life. It's all solo missions for you, and not even a wave of automaton hulks clunking towards you can shake your resolve. You're gonna take them down, and you're gonna do it by yourself or at least without any human companions. You won't rely on fellow soldiers to keep you alive, but you always can get out of a tight spot with guard dogs, the goodest boys in Helldivers 2, to get you out of a tight spot. Oh, and don't forget the orbital walking barrage for good measure. It looks super cool and it is super effective, in real life, you're probably just a single-player kind of person, and there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe you're not too social, or maybe you just want to not be social when you game. We all recharge our social batteries in different ways. Super Earth is happy to have your corpse on the front line all the same. Precision Tactician. It's surgical strikes or nothing. Your motto is no wasted effort. You only pull the trigger when you know you'll hit, and you only call in support when it's guaranteed to have maximum results. You probably get on your teammates' nerves when everyone else is fighting for their lives while you calculate trajectories, but a swift save from a well-placed strike is just so undeniably satisfying. In real life, you're always the friend with the gameplay. Everyone knows that you're the one who'll arrange everything perfectly, and everyone needs a friend like that in their lives. You're super anxious that everyone's going to hate you, and if you need to make sure that friendly fire stat stays at zero so people have the least likely chance of getting mad at you, you're going to take it. Protector. You know you and your squad can only fight for Super Earth if you're all in one piece, so your fingers know the shield stratagem codes better than any other. Your very presence on the battlefield says, I'll keep you safe, in calming tones, even while the chittering of bugs gets closer and closer. You know you can't save everyone from being ripped to shreds or otherwise obliterated, but you always do your best, and hey, that's really what counts. But you're more interested in defense than offense. Using incendiary grenades is area denial more so than impact grenades for damage numbers. You might also take this a step further and choose weapons that have the least chance of blowing up your squad mates on accident. Gotta watch out for that splash damage. This is different from the one-man army in that you're thinking of how to save your teammates, not how to get the most kills. In real life, maybe you're the mother of the group, telling your friends that if they're crossing the street, always look both ways and maybe a third time just to be sure. And I think you're just the right amount of cautious, and I appreciate that extra helping hand. Support Buddy Sweet as a cinnamon bun and far too good for this world, the Supporting Buddy's focus in battle is about being a helpful teammate, and you are always looking out for your fellow Helldivers. Sometimes that means being super fast to tag a fallen soldier back in with a reinforcement drop, other times that means lugging supplies around to make sure that everyone in your squad is locked and loaded. You are always watching for those little red indicators that your teammates are out of supplies, ammos, or stims. You are always making sure that everyone's topped up on health and moving together just to make sure that no stalkers are going to take out that person who's lagging a little bit behind. You cannot demand someone to be a support buddy, but if someone offers it freely, you know you got a real friend. Because in real life, you are always that person ready to help, whether you're fighting for your life in Malevolent Creek or maybe just hanging with your friends and they really need a hype man. Somebody who's ready and willing to watch your video and give it a like and subscribe and a follow. No, nope, that's me asking you too much. But if you'd be willing to do that, I just, I would appreciate it. Bomberman. You're ready to obliterate any minor inconvenience with a massive explosion at the drop of a hat. Did those three terminated scavengers call for heavy ordnance? Probably not, but they definitely won't be a problem anymore. 
You're also the one squad mate chomping at the bit to call in hell bombs. The Super Earth military gives us access to all these bombs for a reason, I guess, so go nuts. Just maybe don't look at that friendly fire staff because your teammates might hate you. In real life, you're the kind of person who enjoys the beautiful things that are not lasting. A great meal, a beautiful sunset, recognizing the beauty in things that won't last. Like that time you dropped a nuke on your teammate. Trust me, it was really funny, just you, you had to be there. Which makes it good for you and like two other people. But in the end, isn't that worth it? Long Range Angel. You're the teammate everyone wants on automaton missions. You could hit the engine of a bot drop ship from a mile away, or the teeny tiny head of an automaton hulk long before it becomes an actual danger. Your teammates usually can't see you, but they always know you're there. In real life, you act like you don't know what's going on, but you're always watching from the background. You always look like you're spacing out in every conversation, but when asked if you're listening, you spit back everything they said, plus like a little extra detail just as a treat. Maybe you're even a little too observant. Run and gun. They can't kill, but they can't catch. You are always on the move, and the light armor you equip ensures that you're always the fastest member of a squad. You gravitate towards one-handed weapons since you like firing those while you can run, but your obsession with speed can leave your teammates in the dust. But hey, that's not your fault. You didn't tell them to pack heavy armor. You gotta go fast no matter what. As soon as vehicles are added to the war effort, your transition into designated driver will be seamless. In real life, you're a no-nonsense, gotta do the objective kind of person. Maybe not speed running life per se, but you do like being a Efficient. Taking that shorter route across the grass instead of following the sidewalk around, interrupting people to get them to the point of their story instead of letting them meander from piece to piece. It's not a bad thing, it's just fast. Big Game Specialist Time to break out the big guns. You're always kitted out specifically to deal with big threats. You always make sure your squad knows that. You are not looking for kill count numbers. You are looking for kill count size. You probably found that tiny spot behind the bile titan's mouth that makes their head explode all by yourself. Good for you. In real life, your favorite game outside of Helldivers 2 is either Hunting Simulator or Monster Hunter. You like going for the big kills. You like going for the things that you can talk Talk about later. If you wanted to shoot countless enemies, you'd go play Left 4 Dead or something. You want to take on the big boys. You like fighting the bosses. And that's pretty boss of you. Aerial Superiority. Who needs guns when you have an entire spaceship full of missiles just waiting to tag in? You're the fastest squad member on the strat codes, but only for the Eagle Rearm strategy. You could do it with your controller behind your back even at this point. In real life, you probably have a bigger, stronger sibling or friend who you call in to fight your battles. You're not one to stand on the front lines, but you will happily support the one that does. I can't say I approve, but it sure does seem effective. Pyrotechnic. Kill it with fire! Bullets, lasers, and faster than light projectiles are good and all that, but there's one weapon that humanity has been using to great effect for as long as we can write it down. Fire. If it was good enough for cavemen, it's good enough for you. You're great to have on a team because you can char mobs of bugs and then start a campfire for s'mores right after. And you were so excited to find out that bots too can burn. In real life, you probably shouldn't have access to lighters, matches, or anything really that produces sparks. You are always a little too excited to sit at the campfire and poke sticks in there and didn't really care who got hurt just as long as it looked what do you think, soldier? Did I nail your personality? Or have I made a terrible tactical error? Let me know in the comments and check out our other Says About You videos if you enjoyed this one. See you on the front lines, Helldivers.